It is time for Americans to vote for their desired direction of the country. Sometimes votes come down to policy, sometimes near consensus necessity, but usually strictly down to candidate. What gets underrated and sometimes altogether forgotten is the team behind the candidate. Not just the second name on the ballot that's there in case of emergency, but the depth of the actual team. Rumor has it, Donald Trump isn't everyone's cup of tea. But committed behind him is something the other party cannot match. A man of actual genius. A human cheat code. I'm going to make the case. To those who would otherwise not vote for Donald Trump, make that consideration based solely on Elon Musk's involvement. Another well-known modern genius named Jordan Peterson made basically the same exact argument it's a bummer that he of all people understands, but without the ability to contribute a vote. I would vote for Trump as president if I could vote, and I can't because I'm Canadian, and forgive me for that. Just because Musk has agreed to play a role in any new administration that Trump might bring about. He has even wittily proposed to head up a new Department of Governmental Efficiency, a phrase whose initials, D-O-G-E, indicate the willingness in an inside joke manner to do only good every day, as well as signifying a bemused but knowing dog whose image has become a widespread meme. It has been my diligent and hopeful observation that Musk is a good man, or at least a terrible, complicated man, trying very hard to be good, which is all we could truly hope if we were the least bit realistic about human nature and our own prospects. It is my belief that people aren't even comprehending how far advanced from the average Elon Musk is when it comes to mental capacity and intellectual brilliance. Just looking at the fields he has applied himself to, whether it be the, the digital transfer of currency, the automobile industry, space exploration, robotics, the internet itself, Wi-Fi availability. For someone to advance any one of these things would be possible but very hard to do. It's nearly impossible. It's unheard of for someone to do that on repeat. Each sort of different things to have to expand your knowledge about. For someone to impact each of those areas of humanity means they have a skill set unmatched. You just, you got to admit that everything he touches basically turns to gold or, or he's got something figured out. And if you were to narrow it down to one thing, one commonality, you, I think I would say the word efficiency. To succeed at that level, at that many things, you'd have to have efficiency figured out. So when I hear a guy attaches himself to a presidential candidate and says, I will devote my time to government efficiency. Boy, I don't know how we can pass that up. We got to have this guy involved. And it's funny, if there's one thing the government has a weakness at, it's, would it be efficiency? I, I would probably, I would list that in the top five things I want improved about our government is, is efficiency. We need this guy involved. We should be elated that he cares to help. People have to acknowledge what a weapon this dude would be for all of the people, for we the people. This dude is a weapon for we the people. For some reason, people just don't, it's because they can't tangibly see it. They can't, it's not visual. In athletics, it's really easy. And this is coming from, a, I'm a guy, I'm like a normal guy, maybe not even normal. I, I have a abnormal sense of probably what I'm capable of physically. I'm the type of guy that'll tell you, I think I could rush for a touchdown in the NFL. I think I could shoot three pointers in the NBA. And I think I could throw a scoreless inning in the major leagues. Okay. I think these are all things I'd, I'm capable of. Even with that level of physical cockiness that I'm probably not capable of. I can still admit that whether I could do those ac uh, actions once or twice successfully in professional sports, it doesn't make me LeBron James. I'm never going to be LeBron James. I'm never going to be Usain Bolt. I'm never going to be uh, 
the peak human, like Aaron Judge. You can just look at him and tell, yeah, I'm never going to hit a baseball like that. It's just not going to happen. I call it the mental LeBron James. When you have people like Jordan Peterson, as we mentioned, Vivek Ramaswamy, Elon Musk, you and I can't even match them mentally no matter how much time we put in. No matter how much time I put into the gym, I'm not going to be LeBron James. No matter how much time you or I put in, you're not going to be Elon Musk. I'm not going to be Elon Musk. We got to take advantage of this dude saying that he wants to be a part of Donald Trump's team. When there is someone who has some uh, skill set, some capability that we are incapable of replicating without him, okay, that means you got to get him included. That in, that specific individual, you got to get them if you can't do what they can do. And I think he's proven he's the mental LeBron James. This is how you know. You, you want to know something funny that I found when I, while I was researching Elon Musk? See, most of us don't even have a Wikipedia page. If you do have a Wikipedia page because you're just that important and influential and consequential so far in your life, my guess is your Wikipedia page doesn't include a full list of awards link that you have to click on for, to visit a second Wikipedia page where all your awards are listed. That's Elon Musk. <laughs> when I saw that, I was blown away. I was like, wow, they don't even list his awards on his original Wikipedia page. You have to go to another one because it, <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to put them on his original page. It wouldn't fit. If we bring it around to the beginning of my argument again, you'd say, yeah, okay, even if I agree with you about how cool it would be to have Elon involved, I just can't vote for Trump. You're asking me to do something I can't do. I feel like the entire argument sort of, it's like I, I prove myself with the argument itself because I get what I'm asking anti-Trump people to do, Trump haters to do. I'm asking them to look past some things about Trump to enjoy the benefits, the inarguable benefits that would come with Trump, one of them being Elon Musk. And the reason that I can make that argument or, or request that from people without it being hypocritical is because I've had to do that with Elon Musk himself. I'm doing that with Elon. I'm using Elon as the point yet still doing that myself with Elon. There's things about Elon I don't like. When I look at his personal past and I see he's gotten married and divorced to the same woman twice, I wonder about the uh, judgment there. When I look at what he's trying to do with Neuralink, I'm, I don't even understand it. I'm not sure I agree with it. But listen, the story of Donald Trump is... And the reason I've picked up on it is because I've dealt with it in my personal life. He has to have taught us by now that sometimes in life you got to take the good with the bad. Quite often, the characteristics that make someone great are also the things that bother or irritate people when the same trait manifests itself in ways that they don't like. But But you can't ask for the best parts of the trait to manifest without some of the parts that you don't like. So that's one of the things about Donald Trump. Some of the some people that don't like Donald Trump, it's for the same reason that every once in a while they do respect him. So when you see him get shot and respond with a fighter response, a very uh very masculine brash fight, 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 fist in the air response. A lot of people liked that no matter which side of politics they're on. That same attitude is where the mean tweets come from. It's where the in your face, don't give a damnness comes from. That's the same trait produced those same two versions of Donald Trump. It's the same thing. You take the good with the bad. And when I look at Elon Musk, I don't know if I trust the Neuralink deal. There's, you know, I'm having to sacrifice some things that I'm not sure about, but 
if you if you keep someone in the right box, if I keep Elon in the right box and say, I trust him when it comes to efficiency. If you keep Trump in the right box and say, I trust him when it comes to serving as president. I, I saw four years. I get I get what it is. He didn't become a dictator. I get it. I keep him in a box as president. He's not my priest. He's not my pastor. He's not my friend. He's a public servant in the most important role of president. Keep him in that box. That's all I'm asking you guys to do. The team Donald Trump is building, and it's, it's bigger than Elon Musk too. I mean, that's the, the clickbait I'm using for the thumbnail and the, the example, the, uh, what I'm describing in the video is, is, yeah, it's all about Elon Musk, but it's just representative of the, the team at large. It's, it's damn impressive what Donald Trump is doing to collect a group this time. It, it's the, the Make America Great Again movement, as I have a song about. It's called Movement. It's, it's not just Donald Trump. It's amazing. The diversity of support, public support, he now has that not only want to support him, but actually want to help, like actually want to do the work. It's, this is a moment we can't miss as a people. What do you hope Donald Trump does for the future of this country and for the future of humanity? You know, people tend to take like, say an endorsement as, um, well, I, I agree with everything that person has ever done their entire life, 100% wholeheartedly. And that's, that's not going to be true of anyone. But we have to pick, you know, we've got two choices really for for who's president, and it's not not just who's president, but the entire admin, administrative structure uh, changes over. Um, and I thought uh, Trump displayed uh, courage under fire, objectively. Um, you know, he's uh, just got shot. He's got blood streaming down his face, and he's like fist pumping, saying "fight." You know, like that's uh, impressive. Like you can't feign bravery in a situation like that. The, the president of the United States got to represent the country. And uh, they're representing you, they're representing everyone in America. Well, like you want someone who is strong and courageous uh, to represent the country. That's not to say that he is without flaws, we all have flaws. I mean, and I'll, I'll tell you like, what are the things that I think are important? Um, you know, I think we want a secure border. We don't have a secure border. Um, we want safe and clean cities. I think we want to re reduce the amount of spending that we're at least slow down the the spending, um, and uh, because we're we're currently spending at a rate that is bankrupting the country, the interest payments on U.S. debt this year exceeded the entire Defense Department spending. If this continues, all of the federal government taxes will simply be paying the interest. One more time for the anti-Trumpers, it's okay if it takes this to get you there mentally, vote for Donald Trump as a vote for Elon Musk. Thanks for hearing me out. I will see you next time on Welty. I'm not just MAGA, I'm dark, gothic MAGA.